Hey there, welcome to the Traders Network Club channel. I'm gonna explain a simple strategy that I use myself trading the Forex today and break it down to give you an idea how it works. Now I do use other indicators that I implement in the strategy, but I'm gonna show you the most simple way on how to trade the strategy. So as you can see, I've made over 17% in July using this strategy and only with a one to two percent risk drawdown now there's other ways that traders use the strategy with supply and demand but i'm going to go ahead and show you how i use the strategy with dollar cost averaging it works so well how i go ahead and target my 100 to 200 pips a day so stay tuned and let's get right to the video Now, I did say I use other indicators that I implement in the strategy to go ahead and find my perfect entries. But I'm going to show you the simple way, and all you need to know is key structural points in the market, such as supply and demand. Most traders trade with a stop loss and a TP, okay, where they take profit, a limit. But I use this strategy different, and it has worked so well for me. Instead of taking my losses, I go ahead and dollar cost average. Just like I was saying previously, the most drawdown I find myself into is about an average of 2% risk drawdown. Okay, so a 2% drawdown is nothing. Okay, now there are other factors that you have to understand tr using this strategy. When I dollar cost average, I have to understand there are specific pairs that I trade using this dollar cost averaging strategy. I trade the least volatile pairs. Um, one of them is the Euro US dollar. So you have to take that in mind that I do use about five pairs that I trade and they're the least volatile pairs. Now risk management is the most important thing that you need to understand and factor into the strategy. And I'm gonna go ahead and break that down. Now before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I look for these key structural points in the market of supply and demand and how most traders trade the supply and demand. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a demand and I'm looking for supply. Now most traders will go ahead and wait for price to get into demand. Once price gets inside the demand zone, they will go ahead and buy and target the supply zone. Okay. And what happens is they get stopped out because of liquidity. And if you don't know what liquidity is, that's fine because I'm trying to show you the most simple way that you don't need to factor these in. And because of liquidity, just to show you an example is what happens is we have support over here and we have buyers, okay? And what happens is there are stop losses placed over here where price wants to come out and take out these orders before it goes back up. And that's how beginner traders lose their money so I use dollar cost averaging I will buy at demand but when price goes against me because that will happen a few times is that I get in another buy position where I have these set limits so when price hits my buy limit I get into another position another buy position to go ahead and average my cost the thing that you need to know is that I have a 20 pip target I like to trade 20 pips and most traders don't do this because they have a stop loss and a target where they're looking for a one to one or a one to two ratio, a risk reward ratio. Now that my 20 pip target was set over here from this first entry, because I got in a second entry, my target will move here because I'm looking for a 20 net pip profit. So when price comes back up, which it did, it hit my target. And I took my 20 pips here, and my first entry, I was break even. So I walked away with a 20 net profit on those two entries. Then what I'll do is because we're still in demand, I'll wait for it to break out of this demand zone. And as you can see, price is now creating a new demand zone so we'll go ahead and wait for price to go ahead and create that demand zone 
and here it is we have created a new demand zone and our previous demand zone has become a supply zone so we wait for price to either get into demand or supply we're in the supply zone most traders will go ahead and sell now this strategy does work okay you can go ahead and sell and target that demand but once again I would go ahead and dollar cost average <clears throat> and price hit my target with a one to two risk reward ratio now if you want to be a lot more aggressive you can trade like this but I am a lot more profitable when I do my dollar cost averaging okay so price didn't go against me there but for example now we're at the demand zone so we would go ahead and buy at the zone when price hit there target our supply and set our stop loss and guess what price went against us so we would have lost there but now with dollar cost averaging as you can see why this works for me is if I bought here price went 20 pips against me got in there now my target from my 20 pip target now is my net 20 pip target okay because I got in the second entry now I'm still looking for 20 pips that's my target no matter what, if I get in more positions, my target will still move into that net 20 pip profit. So if I let this play out, and price came back into my 20 net pip profit. This is how I trade supply and demand. I sell at supply, I buy at demand. But because if there was some supply up here and there was some demand over here, okay? price moved into a demand I will go ahead and buy but sometimes price breaks through demand because there's liquidity down here or it's creating a new demand below liquidity but the reason I dollar cost average is because if price goes and drops down I get into more positions so when price comes back up I hit my 20 net pip target so first thing is you need to factor in risk management so when you trade using dollar cost averaging, it's important to factor in proper risk management because you could get yourself in a drawdown where you're in a few positions on one pair. So if I'm trading aggressive, I would use one micro lot every $1,000. That's my aggressive approach. So if I had a $10,000 account, I would go ahead and trade 10 micro lots. And this is trading five pairs. So you need to factor that in as well. You can always go ahead and subscribe to my Starter Pro Bundle on my website. If you want to become a VIP member and join us in these live sessions that I do and get my trade signals as well. You also have access to my Discord. So my VIP members know what I'm talking about because I talk about risk management and the strategy all the time in my VIP sessions. If you want to go ahead and not trade an aggressive approach, I would say if you want to trade moderate, I'll go in one micro lot every $2,000. This is a moderate approach. Now, if you want to be very conservative, I would trade one micro lot every $3,000. This is a conservative approach. So I hope this makes sense to you that I buy a demand, I sell a supply, but anytime we have a breakthrough, instead of getting stopped out with a stop loss and a target, I am not losing money until I close my positions. And until I close my positions is when I hit that 20 net pip profit. So this is one of my most profitable strategies that I teach in my VIP sessions because it's worked so well and I've made so much money trading this. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. So go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want some more content and smash that like button. If you guys are interested in how I use this dollar cost averaging, then go ahead and check my website out because in our starter membership, we have an EA of our Pip Hunter automated tool. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time.